Hello, today is Saturday, December 11th, 2021. As always, I will be speaking the English language, then I will switch to the Persian language. So, um, what is happening here? And I appreciate if you subscribe to my blog, subscribe to my YouTube channel, because the idea is peace, justice, liberty. Let's be together and hold in hands together to build a foundation. If you like it, if you like what I'm saying, it let's build peace. This I'm about peace. I'm not here to uh, topple or knock somebody down or anything like that. If the Islamic Republic of Iran comes today and say, "I give up, I give up on my hurting people," I want to listen to people. I'm going to be a rational and critical thinker. Hey. All power to you, all power to you. But so far, the Islamic Republic of Iran has proven to be hostile toward Iranians, to be hostile toward the world peace. So let's look at the, one of these statements of fact. Ali Rezvani sanctioned by Britain's House of Commons. So what happens, the Islamic Republic of Iran has a state media. And this state media is not used, of course, for example, Canada has Canadian Broadcasting Corporation and shows what Canada has done. At the same time, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation shows some of the things that shouldn't be happening. This is called freedom of speech. This is called uh, your rights is being safeguarded. However, with Canada, I have on many areas that I say is doing human rights violation. They're not doing it. They're allowing it to perpetuate it. Uh, they're fond with it even. So, like, uh, is, I'm not saying Canadian broadcasting is perfect. I'm not saying Canada is perfect. Canada is far away from human rights, to observe human rights. But what I'm saying here, I'm talking about the Islamic Republic of Iran. And the state media is attacking at people. And it's been recognized by Britain's House of Commons and imposing a sanction against it. So... Ali Rezoni has a program 2030. And that program brings the people is is horrible. You can't do that. You can't bring people to your program to do a forced confession, a spreading propagandas. You need to act honestly. You need to act honorably. And say, yes, this is what's happening. Hey, what was the reason you acted in that manner? Give the people the window of opportunity to explain themselves. Do not judge them. However, Ali Rezvani, take a picture like this. I'm so good. I'm so good. It is embarrassing. Right now, these sanctions means that every facet of Iran being militarized. Iranians are suffocated. Iranian people do not have a chance to express themselves. That's what it means. When you are being sanctioned, do not be proud of yourself. And his Rezvani's first name is not Ali, it's Kombis. He changed his name. He does not have Bachelor of Arts in Communication. He has his grade 12. Hey, if you have your grade 12, be proud of it. Say, I have my grade 12. You don't have your Bachelor of Arts in Communication. Go pursue your Bachelor of Arts in Communication. And we know, don't come from this paid university. You just give them a couple of bucks. They print you one document and say, go for it. <sighs> like, none of that, okay? So, what does Britain's Parliament says to us? Britain's Parliament says the Islamic Republic of Iran does not have support of people. That's why they are doing mock trial on TV. And Mr. Kambiza Rezvani needs to change himself. The world is not about money. I myself, many people know, I slept in this cold apartment for over decades. All my life I have slept in cold places because I couldn't afford food, I couldn't afford heat, I was keeping myself warm by drinking hot water and I wasn't adding sugar because I couldn't add sugar I couldn't have anything um, 
I was using my computer's heating system to keep my fingers warm so I could type. I have done it. People have seen it. So I have done these kind of things. Uh, so money is not the answer. No one can come up to me and say, I did it because of money. And like sometimes, you know what, you have to accept the fact. And I had the opportunity to join organized crime, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I'm not going to do it. So, I will be speaking the Persian language. Suppose uh, you have a lot of people who are in the same If you want to be in the same subscribe to me. Uh, that we can be in a peace, justice, liberty. This is my opinion. خب آقای علی رزوانی در مجلس انگلیس کامنز اونجا سکشن شده و حتی صدا سیمای جمهور اسلامی سکشن شده برای اینکه میان اونجا یه سری باعث آزار اذیت مردم میشن هیومن رایتس فایلیشن شده حقوق بشریشون لغو شده و آقای ایشون علی نیست نام علی رزوانی نیست کامبیز رزوانی هستش و ایشون ادعا میکنه که بچه آف آرتس این کمونیکیشن داره نداره کلاس دوازده رو داره خواهرش تو صدا سیمای جمهور اسلامی کار میکنه و از اون طریق تونسته شوق پیدا کنه ایشون خیلی مورد ناراحتی شده بویژه در رابطه با آقای روح الله زن که آورد تو برنامهش از اون لحظه به بعد مردم دیگه خوششون نیمدن تو برنامه بیستیش که می آورد مردم واقعا دیگه خوششون نیمد از رزوانی که کارهایی که می کرد خب ما ببینیم این برنامه این برنامه که پارلمان یعنی اون مجلس انگلیس میگه سکشن کرده بر علیه صدا سیم جمهور اسلامی و علی رزوانی واقعا معناش در جرفا چی هستش بر این اساس که جمهوری اسلامی پایه های مردمی نداره از توی مردم دیگه نیست داره اینو میگه علی رسونی هیچ وقت از ایران بیرون نمیاد عوامل جمهوری اسلامی هیچ وقت از ایران بیرون نمیاد و اینها دارن میگن که جمهوری اسلامی پایه مردمی نداره و داره شکست میخوره و خواهرم خورد و خواهرم من برای ایران خودم برای مردم ایران خودم آرزوی صلح و پیروزی میکنم مرسی